Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to tell you everything I wish I'd known and seen on YouTube before becoming a student in Murato Tennis Academy. The first time I visited MTA was when I was a camper for a week during the summer. Me and my parents were interested in me becoming a student there. Though before visiting the academy for the first time, we have been searching for videos of other people's experience in the academy. And since YouTube has become the only platform I use to find information, I have been trying to find videos of how it was like to be a student athlete in Murato Tennis Academy. And trust me, there was none. So I thought I'd make this video to show you what it's really like. So when I first arrived to MTA, I instantly fell in love with the campus. There are a lot of green trees around, a mini football field, and the most important, 34 indoor and outdoor tennis courts. During my stay as a camper and wanting to become a student there, I had to do some tests, including tennis, fitness, and school, so they know my level and where I stand. And by the way, all the coaches are super friendly and very experienced with their job. MTA may be located in the south of France, which is known for its sunny and warm weather, but it can also be raining and even snowing. After spending an amazing week training in Murato Tennis Academy, it was time for me and my family to go back home to Greece. But in September, I was coming back for a full year. When I arrived, the staff from the boarding house came to the airport to pick me up and drive me to the academy. There, they gave me my key and showed me my room, where I was staying with two other girls, my roommates. All students had to come two days earlier in order to organize their rooms, start getting used to the new environment and, of course, make new friends. School was starting every day at 8 o'clock. We had three classes every day per one and a half hours each, which means that we finished school at 12.30. After school, we have some time for lunch, and then we have tennis practice for two hours. Every day we practiced something different, like drills, baskets, and points. But I also had extra private lessons with my coach three times a week for an hour to improve more technical and tactical things. All the tennis groups are separated by strength and experience. Every group has a court of four girls or four boys with one coach. And sometimes, at the end of every practice, we used to mix the groups to play points and challenge ourselves. After tennis, we had to go straight to fitness for one hour and a half, no rest in between. In fitness, we worked every day something different, just like in tennis. It can be footwork, strength, speed, cardio, balance, and stretching. Besides all that, I've met many tennis players throughout the year, like Serena Williams, Stefano Tsitsipas, Grigor Dimitrov, Alice Gornet, Anastasia Pavlichenkova, Caroline Wozniacki, Alexei Popirin, Dustin Brown, and Bonapierre. And back to our schedule, every once a week you can ask your fitness coaches for an ice bath or a hot bath recovery. The coldest water temperature is 10 degrees and the hottest is 45. I have tried both. <laughs> After all the trainings, we have some time free to eat dinner and get ready for our everyday study. When we finish study, we have about an hour of free time to do whatever we want before bedtime, which is at 9.45. We are never allowed to leave the campus during the weekdays. As I mentioned before, I lived with two other roommates, and every day at 9.45, the staff from the boarding house were coming to our rooms to check if everyone is where they are supposed to be. <laughs> And here's a small montage of me and my friends of what we do in the weekends when we are free to go out.
As you saw in this small montage, we tried spending our weekends visiting Antibes, Cannes and Nice. But we had to be back in the academy before 10.45, which is the bedtime for the weekends. I just realized that I forgot to mention the tournaments. We had tournaments almost every week in different tennis clubs around Nice, Antibes and Cannes. And here's another small montage of how I used to prepare for my tournaments. And since I started talking about tournaments, the Academy is organizing every year a small tournament between us, students, and it's called American Day. We get separated into two teams, Team France and Team World. I was in Team World. In this American Day, we get to work on our team spirit, and it's really fun. We played singles, doubles, and many fitness games, and we had the rest of the kids in the Academy cheering for everyone. We got the opportunity to experience how American University tennis teams support each other and I had a really great time. And of course, the final exams. Graduation is our favorite and saddest part of the year because we had to say goodbye to our seniors but it also meant summer break. The organization for the graduation is so beautiful and the after party is so much fun. So that was it for this video, I really hope I have answered most of your questions about Murato Hu Tennis Academy and how a year there looks like. Don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I will answer them as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, bye!